Hello everyone, in this video I am going to show you how to read the data from the database with the help of ADO.NET. Now I will take a grid view. And I am going to display the data into this grid view. And I want to read the complete employee table in this grid view. I'll go for the coding. Whenever I want to read the data from the database, the first thing that I need is connection string. So in our earlier video, we saw how to get the connection string from configuration manager. I got the connection string in S. Now before I start reading the data from the database, I need two namespaces. Those are nothing but system dot data and another is system dot data dot SQL client which means that I am going to connect to SQL database and I am going to read the data from SQL database server so basically there are six steps involved in it first I need to read the connection string and the second I need to create a SQL connection object so I'll say SQL connection con equals to new SQL connection. So whenever I'm creating the SQL connection object, I need to pass the connection string that I have read earlier. I have created the connection object. Next, I need to create the command object. So I'll say SQL command cmd equals to new SQL command. Now whenever I create the SQL command object, I need to pass two parameters. One is MySQL command, select, insert, update, delete, whatever it may be. And the second is on what connection I want to run this command, I want to execute this command. So I need to pass two parameters. So first is my command, I'll say select star from tbl underscore emp and the second command is nothing but the connection that I have created just now that is con so I got the connection string I have created the connection object and I got the command the three steps are over now the fourth step is open the connection con dot open And the fifth step is execute the command cmd dot execute reader and the last step is close the connection that's it this is how we read the data from the database using adio.net now here whenever I read the data by executing the command cmd dot execute reader what is that it is going to return? It is going to return SQL data reader object. So I'm going to store it in SQL data reader DR. Now it means that I have my complete data in my data reader DR. Now I'll give this data reader DR to grid view. So I'll say grid view one dot data source equals to dr. I'll say grid view one dot data bind. Save this and execute it. You should see the grid view with complete employee information. So here I get the output that is nothing but all the records from employee table. So this is very simple. Step 1 I need the connection string. Step 2 I need the connection object. Step 3 I need 
the command object step 4 I need to open the connection step 5 I need to execute the command read the data and use it as you like whether in grid view or by iterating through each and every record as you like you can add one more point here you need to even close your data reader which is going to free the memory occupied by your data reader after using it and the step 6 you need to close this So basically there are six steps which are involved whenever you want to connect to the database and read the data. Whatever it may be, whether it is a single statement, simple statement, what you are executing or whether it is a complex application, normally we have these following six steps that we follow. Whenever we, we need to whenever we need to connect to the database and read the data now whenever I have my select statement I go for executing the command as dot execute reader because the select statement returns the data and I'm reading the data in DR now if I have a statement which is other than select that is update delete or insert what I do I use instead of execute reader I will say cmd dot execute non query I use non query method whenever I go for executing insert update and delete and whenever I go for executing a select statement I use cmd dot execute reader and say whenever I have a query which returns a specific value say sum of salaries average of salaries or counting the number of employees which returns me a specific count or a specific value I use in those situations cmd dot execute scalar which is going to return an object and I can typecast it as I like So throughout our database access through adio.net we would be coming across these methods. Thank you very much.